name's Tate. It's him, all right. Bert Rayner don't set too much price on you, sending out half man like him. I have to get him back to the house. The house? Hey, Christian, leave him out here. Well, if I got one man's blood on my hands. You keep blaming yourself. Young Rayner had it coming, Abel. Well, you had the right. Ain't nobody got the right. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Got to get him on his horse. Why? You give him the chance, you know what he'll do. Have me pick him up. He's hired out to kill you, Abel. I know that. Now help me get him up. All right. You're going to make it. You owe me for two days' sleep I lost. Fever was higher and Pike's Peak. You come down through the Parthenia Hills. All that water through there is bad. I've been telling them they ought to post it. <sighs> Be a pleasure to clean in here again. Dust can sure get ahead of you just a couple of days. Guess we can open this now. You just speak up. Does it get too cool? I always say that's the hard part of the fever, having to keep the window down. Still, it'd be worse, I guess, to take a chill. I got the rest of your things right here. I laid them away when we put you to bed. Not me. Pa and Maddie done that. Maddie's my brother. Your boots are here. I brushed them off. Your name's Tate. It was wrote in your Bible. I'm Luli Jean King. Abel King's my pa. He's got your gun, Mr. Tate. Don't wait, that's all I'm saying. Don't wait till he can strap on a gun. You don't finish him, Abel, he'll finish you. Eat your supper, Luke. Cole. That girl ain't been dishing us up nothing but slop these past two days. She got to be with him all the time. You hear that, Pa? <laughs> He's got the green eye. <laughs> Hush up, Maddie. You're too easy on her, Abel. Be different, did I have to say. You don't have it. Matter of time. When I hired on, it was understood. I said it was up to the girl. And note why you were saying it, she ain't in no position to pick and choose. Judge not that ye be not judged. Well, they ain't gonna be buzzing around here like bees begging her to marry him. Not after what she done. Everybody know him. <laughs> Full woke up? Up for fair. You wouldn't know him, Pa. Pa! Pa! You stay here.
You knew who I was, yet you brought me in. Could have left me. I'd be dead by now. Sets us apart from the creatures, I guess. Man keeps charity in his heart. No charity to bring me in and take my gun. Soft-hearted don't mean I'm soft-headed, too. You don't look like a killing man. I ain't. You killed Rainer's boy. Yes, I killed him. With good reason. I try to do what the book says. I don't hold it against you. You're hiring out your gun to Bert Rayner. Ain't nobody in this house gonna harm you. You stay here till you get strong enough, and then you ride out. In case you get any notions, there's three of us. Keep that in mind. Trying to help you is all. I don't want no help. Not from you. Well, where are you going to find it? Him? Take my advice. Forget it. All I got to do is drop him one word. Noise. You make enough for two. Something you want to say to me? You got any ideas about her? Have you? Mm. I'm going to marry her. Now you got something to say? <laughs> it's a funny thing I noticed you. Take away a gunfighter's gun. All of a sudden he's two foot shorter. Coming. I'm going to marry her. Don't you forget that. I was thinking to boil up some soap this morning. I got wood ash that high. When I was a boy, that meant it was spring. I've been wondering if you're strong enough. I'm strong enough. I mean, if you'd like to sit by and watch. I like that fine. I like this soft for the washing and such. You want the hard soap, you need a store-bought lie. You're real handy around the house. I just turned 12 and Ma passed on. Sometimes it seems like I never done nothing else. Just tend to Maddie and Paul. And hired hands. They come and go. How long's Luke been here? About a month or so. Wasn't easy to get somebody after. After your Pa killed Sam Rayner. You'd have to know about that. You're hired to Mr. Rayner, ain't you? Yes. You maybe heard something about Sam and me. All of it. Luke been saying things to you? It ain't true. It was just the talk, that's all. It was never nothing took Sam and me. Luke got no right. He thinks he has. He says he's gonna marry you. Ain't nobody saying who marries me. Ain't nobody passing me around like I was a drink out of a bottle. 
I'm the only one to say, and I'll do my own picking. Anybody it pleasures me, big or small, fat or lean, one arm or two. I'm sorry. Lily. Lily, look at me. Now that's real pretty. You don't make much noise when it suits you. I'm a fast learner. Can't hardly turn my back on you a minute, can I? Not you open the door to any stray goat to come sneaking up the path. <laughs> A dirty mouth. Go wash it up. If Abel don't kill you, I will. You don't have to leave. I don't want to kill your pa. What Luke said, you know, it ain't so. The whole thing started about a year ago. I come on Sam in the hills. He was hunting a deer. That's one thing you've got to understand. The furthest I've ever been is to town. And Sam, he'd been everywhere during the war. He got to talking about it that day. He liked to talk. I like to listen. Got to looking for him any time I rode out. Guess maybe he got to looking for me. And you talk. All the places he'd been, all the things he'd seen, Atlanta, Richmond, Baton Rouge, all the fancy parties and balls and the women in silks and laces. Till they started to talk in the town. And Paul asked me, was I meeting Sam? And I said, I was. And he killed him. Run no cause, was nothing wrong. You believe me, Tate? I believe you. Your gun. I give it to him, Pa. Didn't make no difference. He had Luke's gun. Luke told me. Where's Luke now? Rode into town. He's quit. Thought him stopping to pick up his stuff? Asked me to bring it to him next time I come in. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like he had a thirst and couldn't wait. Luke say what happened here? He said. Wherefore have you rewarded evil for good? You got your horse now right out of here. Luke's got a loose mouth. I'll be back. You do, you come prepared to kill or be killed. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> so help me, I've seen him with my own two eyes. I try to tell you, old man, been more sense to bring a mad dog in the house. But you know him. He wraps himself in a verse from the book and can't nobody say MBA. <laughs> and, and why, she didn't hardly wait till he was out of the house. Didn't even get herself a, a whole man either. <laughs> No matter what she did, you just did worse. He tell you the rest of it? He tell you he's been begging to marry her? Tell him what Lily would say if she were here. She wouldn't have you. She wouldn't even look at you. You got the advantage. I got no gun. You got one now. It says in the book, Behold, I will deliver thine enemy. Just purely stupid. Why'd you come back? I owe your pa for his charity. I owe you too. Besides, you'll need me when Luke gets here. You ain't coming back. I just stake my life on it. He's coming back and with a gun. You wouldn't be here. Climb down. You still think he's coming here? I think so. Wouldn't he be here by now? He'll use the dark. And after... you'll be riding out? Yes. All far places. Pretty names. Tucson. Aveline. Santa Fe. <laughs> Someday I'm going to San Francisco. Sam told me you walk down the street, there's people from every place in the world. That's right. Someday I'm going to San Francisco. It makes you so sure they're coming here. A man like that can't stand to be laughed at. And you think he'd try to do me harm? Might. Or Paul. He'll try to kill your pa before your pa kills him. Tate. Why'd you come back? Your pa's not a killing man. <laughs> Lily. You have 
had to come back, didn't you? Riding with Sam, you ever meet anybody? Only once. Yeah. You ever stop to think how the talk got started? You're the one. You started that talk. Tell him. Tell him why. Count. Her. You knew you didn't stand a chance unless you kept the others away. You dirt. Getting a man killed. You dirt. You so high and mighty all the time. Too good for me. Too good to, to even stop and, and just talk. Don't you turn your back on me one time. Do you hear? All right. That's enough. Hired out to Bert Rayner. Rayner wanted justice. He's got it. One day, maybe whittled the next. Well, they'll be riding out here by the dozens. You let me know who's the lucky one. Where? Kansas City, general delivery. I'll let you know. Maybe I can help with the doings. Like give away the bride or something. Goodbye, Lily. Tate, you'll be the only man ever gives the bride away twice. Tate. 